Hello everybody, happy to be with you. In this video we are going to talk about what on earth is going on here and I'm telling you this is not a quarry, this is from an old video I made, you can see with a pen. And that's not a quarry, this was all, This was, a mold has pressed into this and extracted stones, that's quite clear. And I'm going to talk about that. About six months ago I made this video and I said, look, this, this is a smoking gun, it's all been stuck out over and people said, what are you talking about? That's not plaster. What are you talking about? That's not cement. Cement would crumble away. No one knew anything about geopolymer because no one really knows anything about geopolymer. But now the attitudes are changing and together we're discovering what this really was. And that's so, so unbelievable. And the other day I made a video about these two, and you can see what happened to this one here. Look at the top of that. The, the top appears to be a very dry, bad mixture, and the proof is in the pudding. That one, the top of this one, has been entirely replaced. So they were made sort of the same way. The top has crumbled off. That one's gone, and that they've replaced it poorly with something else, which doesn't look very good. <laughs> it's just unbelievable. But this was all poured mixture. And you look at a quarry like this and you have to wonder what on earth is going on. I mean, what on earth is going on? This is perfectly flat. Stones have been lifted directly. This is a, this, look, this is the relic of a mixture that was molded. And molds have been directly lifted from this. I made a video saying this is cut like butter. And you can see exactly what has happened. It really has been cut like butter. Look, they didn't even cut this rock out of the end here. They're mocking us. And how on earth do you how on earth do you lift something like a rock like this out and and leave this here? It's, you can't. These are relics of molds, and they've just been left here. This was a huge mixture. This is a huge geopolymer mixture, and it's just sitting here on the ground. That's what this is. So what's happened is, and you, and you look at something like this, you say just just on its own, it has been it has been lifted out. This is not how quarrying is done. Look, that's almost on the same level as that there, and I think in some instances, what has happened is a box or something has been pushed in upside down. While this was all drying, this was all poured at once. It was drying and some kind of sheet or something was inserted into the bottom of the box somewhere for a slit in the bottom or directly underneath the box and then the whole mixture was lifted out and, and it was left there and then the whole later on the whole thing was broken up and the, the rock was extracted and that left a level surface for the next stone and that's how they fit them all together you see, this was all. This is all a type of cement which has turned to rock, just like Roman concrete has turned into a, a very strong type of rock. And then you have to ask, why was this all abandoned? Look, look, the proof is right here. This rock here appears to be a different colour to this rock. This is all a mixture. And it's been left here. Either it's been left here because they didn't need it anymore, it's all dried, they, they extracted all the rocks they could before it dried, or something else happened. And you have to ask, why did they build these fortresses anyway? What was going on with that? This is more than you need for bows and arrows, sticks and stones. And no one's really going to haul a catapult up a mountain. So why did they build these fortresses on top of mountains? Was it just to awe the local people? Well, it could have been. But it could also have been for another reason. Defense against high-tech weaponry. Are these, in fact, high-tech fortresses? And I'm going to basically prove that because you can't have geopolymer without high-tech. We're going to get to that. You cannot have geopolymer without high-tech. Look at our civilization. We're high-tech. We don't have geo geopolymer. It's, a, it's just unbelievable. I mean, this is, this is to stop... This is to protect the inhabitants of the fortress from something absolutely terrible, from, uh, from terrible weaponry. And I think we can explain all these abandoned quarries, and lots of them, you can see there's lots of stone around which hasn't been used. I mean, why hasn't it been used? Why hasn't it been recycled? Why hasn't it been repulverized into geopolymer with, with high-tech machinery? What's going on? 
I think that the fortresses like this, Sexejuaman, in the old days, were built, and these could be incredibly ancient. We're talking 50,000, 60,000 years old. Look at this. It's, it's a perfectly straight line there, but not everywhere. It's unbelievable. Sometimes they use curves. Look, these were built a long, long time ago to protect against high-tech weaponry and to protect against even savagery in a world, a post-apocalyptic world in which nukes were still being used and hurled around. And I'm going to sort of prove that in the next video. And this is a Pushpaka Vimana. And according to the Indian texts, these were flying around, nuking cities. This was a flying city, and, and these were taken out by other Vimanas. A Vimana just means craft. There were underwater Vimanas, submarines. They, they had everything. They had everything, but they had it so long ago that everything's gone. Everything's been recycled away, rotted away, destroyed. And the next phase of this paradigm shift of geopolymer which is occurring is, is going to be Stonehenge. I'm pretty sure that the stones were found on site. And this is proven by the fact that the astronomy of the site is much more elaborate and sophisticated. And the builders were much more interested in the astronomy than they were in actually making clean, proper cuts on these stones. So these stones must have just been found here. And every archaeologist always thinks that the stones... Every, 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 every time a new building or, or monument is built, the stones were freshly cut. Not so. I think it's all always recycled for tens of thousands, perhaps for hundreds of thousands of years of human civilization. Stones are continually recycled into new monuments. And that's why we don't have much record of these old civilizations. Archaeologists think we don't have the record because these civilizations never existed. But the fact is, stones are recycled. People reuse stones. They don't just leave things around for archaeologists to find, buried cities to find. They, they, just, they just recycle them. They're, they're entrepreneurs. They, they, they dig these things up and they say, oh, we've got all these stones here, and they sell them. And that's the cold, hard reality. And this is the next paradigm of geopolymer research, because I'm pretty sure this is cement. This is, a, this is described as a type of natural cement. I think it's artificial cement. And this was all part of an older fortress similar to Saxe Huaman, but in England. And the computer, YouTube, we are changing the paradigm as we speak. More, more and more people are discovering geopolymer thanks to the computer. And doesn't this tell us, I think it tells us, that only a high-tech society could have invented geopolymer. And the Egyptians, they looked in their old books. They looked in their old books when they researched geopolymer and they, they found out how to do it, but they didn't quite do it right. And, and this was the result, but they tried as hard as they could. Anyway, guys, thank you. That was very fun. And see you next time. Don't forget to sub, thumbs up, and see ya.